Hello and welcome. In today's episode of Dr. Nora, I'm going to be sharing with you my one cosmetic treatment that I think you should all be doing to help keep your skin nice and healthy and young looking. Now I'm not talking about expensive moisturizers, I'm not talking about anti wrinkle treatments, dermal fillers, no, 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 no. That is all out the window. I'm talking about sunscreen. Did you know that the sun actually causes premature aging of our skin? Shocking, isn't it? That is because the sun emits UV radiation. What does that mean? Well, it means ultraviolet rays. Now there are two types of ultraviolet rays, UVA and UVB. UVA is responsible for causing our skin to age. Ew. UVB is responsible for burning of our skin. Ew. So every time you go outside into the sun, whether it's an overcast day or if it's a really bright sunny day, there will always be UV radiation emitting onto your skin. UV radiation is emitted in long wavelengths. That means it can travel further and it actually goes deeper into our skin. Whereas UVB radiation is a lot shorter in its wavelength and it penetrates the most superficial parts of our skin. Now, both of these radiations are responsible for a lot of causes or irritations to our skin, such as obviously burning of the skin, but also in more serious cases, they can be responsible for skin cancers. So we're talking about things like basal cell carcinomas, squamous cell carcinomas, and if you leave yourself long enough in the sun, it can also lead to melanomas, which can be deadly. Whew, that's quite heavy, Dr. Nora. Okay, so it causes skin cancer, but how does it age my skin as well? Well, I'll tell you just how. UVA radiation, which is the one that goes down deeper into our skin, actually activates some enzymes that break down the collagen within our skin layers. Now that leads us to have saggy looking skin, depleted skin, we lose all that elasticity, and we also develop fine wrinkles on the skin surface. Not very pleasant if you ask me. And sometimes no amount of anti-wrinkle treatment or fillers will actually help to regenerate all of that collagen back into your skin. So how do we protect ourselves? Well, you'll see out there, if you live in a tropical climate like myself in Australia, there are loads and loads of sun creams that are available. But how do you choose one? And how much do you apply? Well, you have to choose a sunblock that actually covers you both for UVA and UVB radiation, because even though UVA radiation is responsible for aging, it can also cause and contribute to skin cancers as well. Now you'll see on the supermarket shelves there's a lot of numbers and figures and you think to yourself, gosh, which one do I choose? SPF 15, SPF 30, SPF 50, my makeup has SPF, is that sufficient? Well, generally SPF 15 that's found in most of our makeups and moisturizers just isn't enough. The SPF number is actually giving you an indication of how much UVB radiation is penetrating into the skin. Take for example, SPF 30. 3.3% of the UVB radiation is going to penetrate into your skin, whereas SPF 50, only 2% of the UVB radiation is going to penetrate into your skin. Okay, it's not 100%, but there are other measures we can do as well to protect ourselves. For example, putting on a hat when you're going out into the beach, sliding on some sunglasses, wearing protective clothing, and avoiding the peak times of UV radiation, which are typically between 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. So before those times, you can check on your phone what the UV index is doing, and it'll give you an indication. If your UV index on your phone is telling you that it's three and above, that is a time that you should be going out minimally as possible, and if you are going out, wear adequate sun protection. Now, if like me, you like the idea of wearing sun cream and you think to yourself, you know, I love the idea of not causing premature aging to my face. I really want to look good like this until I'm 50 years old. Good for you. Well done. You're already halfway there. But how much do you actually apply? Well, this can be a bit of a contentious topic. I have seen patients of my own that just pop a little bit of sun cream on. They squirt one pump and they'll cover their whole body and they think, you know, what? I'm good. I'm protected. I'm going to go into the sun now for three hours. I'm going to sunbathe on the beach. I'm going to go into the pool. I'm going to look really great. But no, guys, that is incorrect. You actually need to put on about five mils. Yes, that's right. So a teaspoon, five mils of sun cream over each part of your body. So, for example, five mils for your face, your ears, your neck. So a teaspoon, five mils for your arm, five mils for your other arm, five mils for your torso, five mils for your legs, and so on and so forth. And so for an average adult, the full application should be about 35 mils for a body. That is quite a lot. You're gonna end up feeling like a slippery baby, but let's face it guys, sun protection is gonna help you in the long run when it comes to avoiding those skin cancers and that premature aging that we just want to avoid. Okay, so that's how much we apply, but which one do I go for? Well, there are tons and tons of sun creams out there. You can go for a physical sunblock, such as zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, which is this thick, white-looking sunblock, or you can go for a recognized sunscreen that can be uh, recognized, for example, by a dermatologist or by the Cancer Council as well. 
And lucky enough for us, over here in Australia, well, certainly on the Gold Coast, we actually have pop-up clinics where you can actually go in and have a look and see how much sun cream you're actually applying onto your face and see whether or not you've covered your face fully. Hey guys, Dr. Nora here and I'm down on Surfers Paradise Beach and I've got the wonderful Queensland University of Technology giving us free sunscreen. Thank you so much. Tell us about the sunscreen that you got on offer. We're giving out free sunscreen so you can use our photo booth to see where you're missing. It uses a UV camera and it illuminates where the sunscreen's not getting a projection. When you put it in our phone, so come on down awesome. and test it out. Awesome, I might even try that myself. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to pop a little bit of sun cream on and just like that. We all kind of do this, you know, just see how much of it goes on our face. But the truth is, how much is it actually <laughs> covering our face? I probably look very funny right now, but let's see where the pictures take us. So let's just rub it in a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. So the darker areas here show me where I've been applying my sun cream. And I've got to say, my my face is actually pretty good so you can see that around the eyes i've missed out a bit of sun cream there and also around my lips area as well but generally speaking the darker areas i have applied the sun cream pretty good so there you have it guys how important is sun cream on your face it's truly very important and a lot of us don't actually put enough sun cream on our face but as you can see over there you can actually see that you tend to miss out certain areas for example your eyes your lips your nose so it's really important in this blistering sun to make sure that you are fully protected and what a fun and exciting way to check out how much sun cream you're actually putting on now not only should you be incorporating sunscreen into your facial moisturizer into your sun protection every day but you should also be getting a nice quality moisturizer which contains at least vitamin c and vitamin e because both of these will help to keep your skin nice and healthy looking I hope you found this video useful and of course let me know what you do for your sun protection and which sunscreen you are using. And if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Take care and stay healthy.